We need a full-time governor who's focused on South Dakota, not on Washington, D.C., who makes decisions based on what's best for their constituents, not what is best for their career. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. Glad to have you with us. I'm Brian Allen. South Dakota State lawmaker Stephen Haugard is officially in the 2022 gubernatorial race and will look to challenge incumbent Governor Kristi Noem for the Republican Party nomination. State House reporter Austin Goss was at the announcement today. He has our top story tonight at 6. Austin, good evening. Good evening, Brian and Andrea. State Representative Steve Haugard launched his bid to unseat Governor Noem today. Despite being the underdog on the campaign, Haugard believes that his vision is a winning one. In his announcement, Haugard explained why he was running, while simultaneously pointing out what he sees as flaws in Governor Kristi Noem's leadership. Today, large multinational corporations are dictating how we should live, how our children are raised, and what values our children should be taught. Parental rights are being swept aside in favor of what big business, big tech, left-wing academics and universities, administrators in Hollywood want, and our leaders just go along with it. Haugard, a father of eight, also talked about his roots, how he grew up, and how that has shaped his trajectory. As South Dakotans, we cherish our communities, family farms, ranches, and small businesses. But our rights, liberties, and freedoms are currently under assault by the extreme progressive left. Currently the state representative for District 10, Haugard most notably served as the Speaker of the House from 2019 to 2020. Haugard has spearheaded many of the legislature's most conservative measures over the course of his career, including last session's HB 1217, the transgender sports bill, which Noam vetoed. My focus needs to be on my campaign and the positive things that we can do, because there are solutions to all these problems that the state government faces. And when, you know, over the course of my almost four decades of law practice, dealing with every aspect of state government, all throughout the court systems and all throughout the administrative systems, I understand what those issues are. And there really are solutions to a lot of problems. But it takes work. Now, after the event, a group of reporters asked Haugard how he believed he could challenge a relatively popular incumbent in Governor Christy Noem. He said that he believes once people learn his vision compared to hers, the perception will continue to change. So far, no Democrat has announced a run for governor. Brian and Andrea. Austin Gosforce tonight. Austin, thank you.